You keep hearing us say we are in the path of totality for the eclipse on Monday. A once in a lifetime opportunity, unless you're someone like our next guest who's been lucky enough to already have been part of one. <laughs> Joining us now, SUNY Oswego Professor Shashi Camber. Sir, thanks for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Can't wait to hear how many times have you seen a total solar eclipse and where were you? Well, it's only once before I was in Budapest, Hungary at an astrophysics conference in 1999, August 1999. And what did you think? I mean, once, I mean, that's one more than uh, all of us, but uh, what, what was it like? Try to describe it when, you know, everything goes dark like that all of a sudden. Um, well, it was a really remarkable event. Uh, it was a while ago now. Uh, the, everything started to get dark slowly and then there were uh, one or two minutes of complete totality. Uh, I was with a whole bunch of other people, so it was very, it was very nice to share that moment with other people. Uh, you know, you, you, we saw a few um, bright stars and planets and things like this, and we, you know, some, we heard some nighttime creatures starting to make their usual sounds. It was a really remarkable event. That sounds so <laughs> amazing. Assuming it's a good sky Monday afternoon, uh, huh? what do you think we'll see? Well, hopefully if it's uh, a clear sky, you should see the moon. Um, when, it, the, when it first touches the, the, the sun's disk, that'll be first contact. And when it's getting close to totality, you will see Bailey's beads, which is the, um, the light of the sun shining through the valleys and so on on the moon's surface. Eventually, when you get very close to totality, you will see the diamond ring. So that's actually the sun's light sh shining through the last sort of valley, if you like. And then you get totality. In, at totality, if it's clear, you should be able to see this corona, which is the outer atmosphere of the sun. You might also be able to see the chromosphere, which is the sort of pink inner atmosphere of the sun. And then that will, in our area, that will last for about three, three and a half minutes or so. And then you'll see the, all of those things in reverse as the moon's disk leaves the sun. So you'll see the diamond ring, Bailey's beads, and then uh, a partial disk of the sun as the experience ends. John talked about it a little bit uh, earlier on at five o'clock, and we've heard this so many people have said, you, you gotta be in totality, like 99%, which sounds a lot in anything, right? 99%, you're almost yeah. there. That 99% doesn't even cut it. Why? What's the difference between 100 and 99%? Well, I guess the sun is such a bright object that even 1% of the light <laughs> from the sun is still pretty high by uh, uh, human standards. So I think that's essentially it. And it, plus, you know, it, it's, we're used to the regular rhythms and cycles of uh, light and day, and then to experience a prolonged period of darkness when we expect it to be light is really quite something. And what is your best advice for people to get the most out of the eclipse Monday? Well, my first advice is to actually share the experience with people who you care about. I think it would be a, quite an emotional experience if the sky is clear, and hopefully it will be. Uh, to get more out of it, I'd read up a bit about the yeah. physics of solar eclipses, so you know a bit about the science of what's happening. That, that will really enhance your experience. Uh, but I think the best thing is to share it with people that you care for. Um, maybe last one for you, uh, Shashi, before we let you go. Um, looking in the forecast, like maybe we're looking at like some high clouds. I mean, is it still something pretty magical to experience, even if it's not perfectly clear on Monday? I still think so. It will still get dark. It'll still be, you'll still feel a noticeable temperature drop. Uh, you may not see all of these features uh, like, um, uh, that in detail like the chromosphere and the corona, but I still think, you know, you'll still notice a significant darkening and a significant temperature drop in the middle of the afternoon. And that's something to experience. <laughs> so. Well, thank you for helping us prepare for this event. Yeah. It's so nice to, to hear about it through your eyes. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Shashi, thanks thank very, very much. much. Jim and I will see you on Monday.